Alright. Alright. Journey was far from over. Act 2.5. That sword had not stopped glowing and it did not stop whispering to her while she slept. <laughs> okay, we haven't talked about that. <laughs> that's, that's, that's new. <laughs> that's a new piece of information. No, this was just the beginning for Loren and her loyal servant. Soon they would approach the forest again, and news would reach across, er, er, would reach their ears. The whole world was quaking, ready to burst, and the sword knew this. Did you hear that? I, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you are not hearing the whispers of the sword. That's the game. High in the Everburn Mountains, a thundering, unearthly shout rang out over the same mountains that we mentioned before, shadowing, shattering windows and putting out fires. He can shout. I forgot how fucking stupid this guy looked. What are you talking about? He he was on the cover of Villainous Armor Weekly. Crikey! Did it glow? Tell me. In the princess's hands, did the sword glow? Oh, I don't know. I'd forgotten about her. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I only know that she has it. I'm completely positive on that, my lord. You better find out if it glows. We've come too far for the gods to meddle in my business. Sir, you know that I need more power for that. My omniscience is limited, which is sort of the opposite of omniscience. I can't just do it whenever. Well, what you saw you then? The succubus frowned, about to growl something in her defense. Luckily for her, the chambers of doors flew open and Grob came hobbling in, wheezing. You speak of the ember blade. It glowed. It glows. Threw all his weight onto his staff as he tried to recapture his breath. Jewel crossed her arms and prepared herself for another of her lord's tantrums. The lava in the room sputtered and flared in Foss's white-hot rage. She needs to be killed! I recall someone saying <clears throat> that such an option was covered. How did that go, by the way, Grob? The goblin shaman sneered at Jewel. It went according to plan, actually. They're collecting more and more allies, so she's well protected. Well, the lizard men will be able to handle them. That is... Oh no, haven't you heard? Quiet, I'll tell him which. I heard enough bad news for today, Grob. Yes, my lord, but the lizard men have been slain. Loren has her mother, and they are leaving the swamps. <clears throat> Foss screams shook the entire room causing the tiles on the walls and ceiling to break off and shatter on the floor. Jules and Grob were barely unscathed. That sentence. <laughs> I... Yeah. <laughs> you can't do anything right, Greeny. What is it you've done for the Lord lately? Um, have you seen my wardrobe? Mostly Silence. wearing this. You both pay dearly for these mistakes. You've failed to keep promises and have compromised me for the last time. My, my, my lord, you're being too hasty. I made you promise that there will be a war. And I've come to tell you, the war is upon us. This quieted fast and he sat down on his throne. Well, how? Unlike some of us, I've great ability at your service, my lord. The humans and elves were itching for a war as it was. A change in the wood wind would have sent them to war. Nevertheless, it was my illusion, Magic Law. Foss was silent for a long moment, while the demons before him feared for their lives. Wait, Grub's a demon? Apparently. He's just a goblin. Well now, this is the only good thing I've heard from the two of you in a long time. And it won't be the case again, I assure you. Two demons bowed before, apparently they are demons, before Foss Throne glared at each other and then left. Alone, the animated suit reveled in the thought of the world at war. His plan That is not a man wearing armor. That is a man who, who is, is armor. armor. His plans were finally starting to come to fruition. Also, two swords 
Mm. Hilts of two swords. Well, that that is how we know he is a an equal and opposite for our lady hero. <laughs> It was a cloudless night in the Empire. The night watchmen of a small town guarded their post as usual. Only merchants and lowly travelers entered the village at such a dark hour. So it was beyond suspicious when a group of elven scouts marched right up to the town. Hold on, who goes there? The elven scouts marched through the gates and straight into the main square. The city guards rushed to block the roads, and the elves suddenly stopped. What's your business here? Go back. We don't need any... The guard's commanding tone faded as the elves took out their bows in unison and loaded them. Loaded. Crossbows. That's a kind of bow. Wait a minute, one attack! Arrows flew in all directions and the bloody screams <clears throat> woke the whole town. The elves mercilessly attacked the guards, showing almost no emotion after one person after another was Oh, slain. that guy is so the hero of another game. Uh-huh. His whole family's dying, and he has taken up a sword in defense of his now burnt to the ground town. It's Parn. He's the hero from Record of Lotus War. The guards barely had a chance to defend themselves or their loved ones. An arrow pierced an invading elf's skull, sending him to the ground. There, the elf's visage melted away and showed the corpse of a goblin instead. The skull was crushed under the foot of defending guard. Just outside the forest, Grob wheezed painfully, grasped his staff closely for support, accompanied by two handsome, shirtless, six-packed goblin twins. This should be the last of it. With a wave of his staff, the few goblins who remained in front of him turned into human guards. <clears throat> they looked at their new forms for a moment, then scuttled into a battalion of human soldiers that was forming next to them. Go now! Hurry! The illusory soldiers marched forward and right into the forest. Grob looked up at the moon and coughed. Finally, he teleported himself back to the Everburn Mountains to give his report. His master was waiting for the good news. Do you feel like we got those out of order? I, yeah, that was definitely a flashback. But I, I feel like if we'd given them, in, got them in order, um, fair. All right, everyone levels up. Hooray! Um, we can get Rally 2, 20% attack bonus. Uh, or the passive dual wield. Um, I, think rally two I do is... like Rally. I do, I like buffing. And it's quick, right? Yeah. All right. Five. Yeah, so Not it's super quick, but quick. Um, so we've been taking heals, and we haven't really needed them. I think we want to clear... Yeah, clearing effects seems like a good idea, especially as paral Paralyze is starting to come out. <clears throat> Alright, so now we've got that. And increase his skill. Uh, I want to see more Blizzard. Yep, yep, nah, I'm on board. Just keep firing Blizzard, climbing. Um. Oh, yeah, we never, we don't have anything that staggers targets. What is... Yeah. We were trying to get this, I think, which is the, uh, the AoE. Oh, yeah. Yep, that seems good. So she can start killing whole back rows. Hold on the show. Meteor swarm. I like, guess pretty decent. Yeah, there's no. no... The only thing I'd, I'd maybe want to do is uh, think about like, <clears throat> getting. Yeah, making him dual element as well. But we don't really use him anyway, so no. I, I think... Oh, oh we already know. Have... You, you'd be jumping it up to three. No, he doesn't have any skill points. Oh, okay. He hit level five and level six. All right. Ramus. Yeah. Um, so that was our AoE. 
Yeah, do we want to climb the AOE? We can't. We need to... Yeah, but we, we work towards that. Yeah. So I think we take the passive... Yeah. Passive, he doesn't get hurt. He's more resistant to uh, those things, and then might the might out of him. Alright. Alright. For this guy, we just want to keep getting more shield wall. Uh... So let's take, uh, Battle Fry, I guess, or Shield Defense, so that... Yep, yeah. so we can move towards more Shield Wall. Alright. And Karen gets, uh, we, we wanted want her to get... No, we maxed out her focus. Yeah, we maxed out we? the thing that we really wanted for her. Um, what is that? That kick is slows people down, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, but the target needs to be... I can't tell. I don't know. Stagger, Staggered? I think. Okay. That's not good, then. That's not bad. That's punch through, right? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Like, it hits a line. Loren and Saren led the party out of the swamps and toward the nearest town. They needed clean beds and hot baths and couldn't be more eager to have either. Before they trekked far, a bright light flashed in front of them and a person appeared. Where are you going? Oh, the shapeshifter. Why have you followed us? Sorry we didn't inform you, but we have my mother and no need of your services. I know that. Your mother is there. She was no close. Yes, we're familiar. You knew we'd found the Queen Karen? Yes. I knew there was a woman and a man taken hostage by lizard men. I just assumed that was who you were looking for. One of them is alive. Seems fine. <clears throat> Karen stepped forward, but Saren held her back. Was I supposed to rescue you? I don't know you. I wouldn't have been able to do anything by myself. I don't want to stick my nose where it does not belong. Also, you, you kill all my neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you say you knew my mother was there? You sent us on a hunt, on a hunt for ingredients. This conversation is about lame, as, as lame as telling you I was trying to help. Uh, dialogue is weird. <laughs> Your methods are unorthodox, but you did lead my daughter to me. Thank you. I am practiced at civility. I apologize for not teaching my daughter the same. <laughs> <clears throat> Jeez. Uh, Curran turned away to look at the sky with an empty expression. <laughs> Saren couldn't stand to see his queen so desolate and thanking a person who'd only barely helped them. <laughs> you're, you're deceptive! Most dog witches are. There's that Gandalf bullshit. <laughs> really, name calling. I don't just teleport for anyone. Please be quiet. Listen. Kambara crossed her arms, but Loren gave her a warning look. You are about to walk into an empire town and get shot on sight. Does sound fun? No. Why would we be killed? I'm the arch wizard of Grimoire. Maybe not you, but all your friends. She received only blank stares in return. None of you know, do you? No. You talk to each other in the camp and never pay attention. Out with it. Empire and elves are at war. War? <laughs> the entire party froze from hearing it. Frozen. For so long, the two factions have been teetering on the edge of it. But and now both... somehow we're surprised. But both sides worked hard to keep from shedding any blood. <clears throat> Saren first looked at his mistress. Loren paled, but she had been up since the Khazulu Temple, and he worried how much trauma one Amazon could take. She has not implied that she gives any shit Zero. for Zero. the elves or humans. She has in fact said, literally, I don't care. I don't care about your war, or your elves, or your prophesied sword. All I care about is my mom, who I've now rescued, and I'll just walk around. Yeah. Bring elves onto Empire soil, and vice versa, you'll get shot dead. The Empire declared war against the elves? Why? Groups of elves invade human towns. 
Regiments of soldiers attack for city. It's very simple. Impossible! Our army would not have marched into the forest. But if they say? did, they were perfectly justified! <laughs> uh, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was completely random. And worse, the attackers disappeared afterward. It doesn't make any sense. No casualties or prisoners. Well, something is wrong. And I'm warning you before you go home and cry about it. Not everything is as it seems. Do you know anything more? Are you hiding your knowledge to keep from directly helping us? Listen, bitch, I teleport all the way here to tell you. Shambar, Shambar sighed heavily. You're welcome. Have fun with your little war. This one should be much more peaceful now that you're preoccupied and probably all going to die. Hold on, you should help us. Your magic could be quite useful. That magic is never useful! Shut up. <laughs> I mean, like, he's like he's like taking a piss in the bushes and just like leans out to shout. <laughs> the shapeshifter ignored the insult and started to turn away. Don't care which hunch won't happen while this is going on, so I don't mind it. Goodbye. Sweet. <laughs> she just took off. She flashed away suddenly, leaving only smoke in her place. They stood silently in the field for a moment. This is grave news. Her warning is, unfortunately, appreciated. Our elven party members would be killed, and the rest jailed for interrogation, as they should be. <laughs> like, like, our elven party members, plural. Like, we don't just have half a one. <laughs> you cannot travel into town, so fuck off. From fucking time. Arch Wizard, the council will need to hear from you. Yes, I was just thinking about that. I'll need to return to Grimoire immediately. Princess Loren, we must make a detour. Alternately, you and uh, Kiki could fuck off and uh, leave the rest of us alone. I am returning to the Amazon Citadel. Where I am? Oh shit, not quite. Apollo Michaud oh. was startled by her defiance, since he was used to having people obey his orders and clearly hadn't been paying attention for literally this whole time. Have you seen the size of my fucking beard? You do what I say! Her Majesty has made no commitments to the Empire. I think that was pretty fucking clear. I know what you want from me. With the Empire at War, you <clears throat> should use me as you were going to use your gladiator. I was to be your weapon. If you're looking for a tool, you can have mine. I'm um, so sorry. Amukiki shuffled uncomfortably and held his head high. The sword is my responsibility, and I must take it back to Grimoire. That is all. And this is when we murder Apollo Michaud on the road. It's my sword, mate. You said it yourself. You can't wield it, but you may find me at the Citadel. Ren started walking away from the wizard and his warrior. Apollo Michaud gripped the staff tightly and shouted after her. I have your word that you will be at the Citadel with the sword! You may seek an audience with the Amazons like everyone else. Tall woman dwarfed Apollo Michaud and his brow furrowed. You I dig I dig her like like just resting bitch. Like, face. Yeah, like yeah, zero I, fucks in this vicinity. Yeah, no, I am super on board with Queen of the Amazons so far. Um she seems cool. You will see me again in due time! Abu Kiki, come! Now here's an interesting thing. He's he's got a vow. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't he swear an oath? Yeah. The gladiator locks eyes with Saren before turning away to follow the mage on a different route. Saren looked over his shoulder several times, watching the two leave. Loren changed course for the citadel. As tired as she was, she needed to get her mother home <clears throat> quick. Along the way, they have fortunately met with the war, even as they tried to avoid it. Swarms of elven scouts and empire soldiers massed to battle and were so enraged that Loren and the party were mistakenly caught up in the chaos. Saren fought hard to keep his mistress safe while keeping his own hide intact. You need to fight three times to get back to the Citadel. Um... Ah, okay. So if you find the sequence, you won't be able to heal between battles. You may camp to fully recover, but every time you camp, the next encounter's enemies will be more powerful. So be careful. Will they get... Give us more experience? Uh, I don't know. 
I see All right. It um, I am going to lead to... We haven't give, been given any indication that the elves are complete assholes yet. Yeah. I assume they are, but... But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna travel. Go. Let's go for human lands. Seems fair. Because at least we know the empire. Yeah. Um, our shit hits. So we have a fire mage and another fire mage. They are unfortunately resistant to fire, but they are unfortunately weak. Or, yes, they are fortunately to weak to water. Yay. Um. um do we want to? God, she's got so much shit now. Yeah, but we can strike through. Yeah. And or we can Oh, focus. and do next to nothing. Oh, she's... We we cranked her skill, not her might. Oh, yeah, because she's a rogue. That's what I figured. Yeah, but she's not fighting with a bow, is she? Oh, uh, yeah, she's fighting with a spear. Ah, oh, fuck. All right, so she's useless. Uh, um, well, we can have her focus, and then she'll sure, do double yeah. damage. Okay, do that. She'll at least do something later. Oh, and that took half of her uh, spell skill points. Awesome. Yeah. Um, um, all right. So you. Yes. Hundred percent. And then we. Uh, what do we get with the normal shot? Yeah. There we go. Um. These guys are weak to fire. Yeah. So, why don't we just... Um, because he's already gone. We're going to get to go before... Yeah. Um, Saren and Dora are both going to get to go before that wizard goes again, right? Uh... No, Dora's not, uh, Dora's not even on the list. Okay, because she used her slow shot, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, burn that wizard. Or freeze that wizard. Uh, guy on the right has less hit points. Yeah. Oh, right. She focused. She yes. focused. Did she get a second hit? What? Yeah, apparently. That's pretty decent. Um, bow, I assume? Yeah. That's when we want to start in on this guy. He does have fewer hit points. That should... Oh, yeah. yeah Strong shot will knock him down. We want to have Draco come out with the staff. Because we're basically done. Yeah, now we're just carving them into pieces. They should have surrendered when they have the chance. Yeah, you're right. We should have put all those points into... Uh... Um, do stronger enemies mean more XP? I don't know. I mean, we could definitely just keep going, but... Yeah, we'll just keep going. All right. All right, so again, we got two wizards. Yeah, can she do anything about wizards? Uh, no. She can focus, but... But she can't attack them, so... She doesn't have a ranged weapon. So yeah. I think we just get her to focus on this guy again? Yep. Yeah, she doesn't even have enough mana to fully focus. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, we super statted you wrong. Yeah, we're probably trading her out the, sur the first opportunity we get. Yep. Oh, no. Wizard. Mm, mm. Nope. Yep. Kill him. Drop it down. Make him real dead. Because, yeah, the next one actually did things. <clears throat> uh, Front row. Yeah. All of them there. Yep, that's uh. Oh, Ramus, you can do better than that. Hey, wizards in the front row. Soft, unprotected wizard flesh right there. Ooh. That was painful. Yeah, Hopefully we, we, maybe, we maybe need to take a nap. Or, yeah. Yeah, we can take a nap.
Oh, right, we get to talk to people. Mr. Rodrigo. If you can, if you can cast all elements, why is fighter Firestarter your surname? Oh, yeah, I gave that to myself. It's not really a family name. Why don't you use your real family name? Oh, it's an elven and I can't pronounce it. I, I, I don't know it. Oh, no? I'm sure there's a good reason for that. Oh, you, you still win at the Whose Life Was the Worst contest. No use in me even competing. You can tell me. I didn't have a family name because I didn't have a family. It's that simple. Not at all? You were orphaned? I think so. I don't have any memories of them. I still remember growing up in the academy. What academy? The fucking wizard academy, you stupid get. The Lothark Wizard Academy. It's a stupid place, so let's not talk about it. All right. What about your given name, Draco? I gave that to myself, too. Kind of. So you had a name before you started calling yourself Draco? Aye, but being Bert Firestarter is just kind of shitty. That name is stupid, too. I don't want to talk about it. Uh... No, we're going to be an insensitive prick if we joke. We're friendly. Like, he's, he's, he's bearing his soul to us right now. Yeah. Kind of. Well, I did this cool trick back when I'd swallow a fireball and shoot a stream of fire out of my nose. Ouch, did that hurt? A little. But all the kids thought it was cool. They called me a dragon. That was awesome. You'd swallow fire to be popular? I burnt out all my nose hairs, too. That smells awful so for days, bonus. by the way. Uh-huh. I have done that. Don't recommend it. Yep. <clears throat> Dora. I've been ma I've been meaning to ask why we found you in an Empire City, but not in a Dwarven City. I'm the new racist uncle of this party. Oh, well, because I like Grimmy Grimoire, there's all kinds of cool stuff there to do see and do and have. It's even got a Coliseum. Did you know I saw gladiators fight a couple times? For free, of course. It's an amazing city to make a living in. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. You were born there? Uh, no. Where then? I was born in a dwarven settlement. But I moved out and went along to Grimoire and stayed put. It's just that simple. So why'd you leave your hometown? Hey, look, okay? I didn't get kicked out of my village or anything. I left. That's it. Yeah, yeah, we can we can joke with her, right? Right. She always makes that face when we're about to talk. Uh huh. Sure. I'm telling the truth. Whatever you say, Missy. Sheesh! It doesn't matter now, does it? I was where I was. Now I'm here. I don't mean to be snappy. I just, I don't like talking about this. Okay. I'm waiting for the joke to happen. All right, I'm sorry. Oh. It was Missy. It was the word Missy. Missy. joking about the apology. All right. All right. Let's talk to Ramus here. Hey, come here for a second. Ramus beckons Sarah to his side, looking around, checking if the coast was clear. Can I ask you something? Nothing personal. Just uh, wondering your opinion. Of course you can. I just wanted to ask <laughs> what you thought of Dora. Dora? Why? Is something wrong with her? Wrong? Hell no. Why would you say that? That's what I'm asking you. No, no, I just want to know how you liked her, you know. Do you mean if I find her attractive? This shit's real weird. Ramus sputtered if it, as if he was electrocuted. <laughs> Jesus. What's that going around lately? Uh, yeah. No. I mean, unless you do. Uh, no, nah, don't tell me. I got eyes of my own. I can see she's the prettiest girl this side I ever burned. You're a thief, though, ain't she? I think so. She certainly stole my heart. That's a rough life. I mean, I wonder who got her so low she had to start stealing. Of course, I'm asking you instead of asking her and treating her like an actual person. And what if she got caught? Well, shit, that'd be downright terrible. The thought of her wasting away in some prison cell makes my bones sad. She's literally on the other side of the See, campsite. She can hear like, everything we're saying. Hear it's like, saying. you're not quiet, man. Uh, no, we, we joke with Ramus, right? Sure. That's, yeah, joke all day, every day. We're jokey guys. Your bones have emotions? Are they ticklish? The fuck? 
Uh, uh, everything what the I hell do, are you on about? It's a <laughs> turn of phrase, you fucking idiot. Not where I'm from. When we talk about bones where I'm from, it's usually talking about dicks. Don't matter to me. I, I just the thought of her being in prison makes me sick. Not dicks. Fuck, I love thinking about dicks. It's the most masculine thing about my life. You will notice the number of phallic objects I have. Seriously. My fucking horns got horns, motherfucker. Why? Why? I mean, why not? I was just curious. You really do like her a lot. Listen, I'm a dwarf. She's a dwarf. Everyone fucking else in this part is a goddamn racist against dwarves. That's so what the true. fuck else are we gonna do? I may be ill-informed, but I do intend to fuck both of you. Maybe just make out. It's really I don't want to romance Dora into. because she looks like a twelve-year-old. It's, it's it's like it's a congenital defect that her eyes are that large. <laughs> Does she feel the same about you? Uh, I don't know, does she? Fuck, I don't know why she'd like a guy like me. What with my horns and my axe and my sick abs and my goddamn killer fucking player beard bows. I didn't quite get there, did I? Nope. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> I couldn't make words happen. <laughs> why, do you think she does? Does she say anything? Why don't you go ask her? Why don't you go ask her? I mean, come on. Yeah, just go ask her like it's that easy. Yeah, just go ask. What are you mumbling? Uh, nothing. <laughs> just in his ass. I ain't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My queen, how do you fare? She's not like eyes flicked you. She's <sighs> like, fuck you, I don't give a shit about you. Who are you? What's your name again? Are you number three? Yeah, like, like, she'd never even met this guy before. Like, he wasn't a royal slave. He's like, this slave is the best at the killing. <laughs> send her, send him along. Queen Karen also, he's not rolled her head over to see Saren standing close. Worry in his eyes. Rizum had looked that way at the end of their journey. Right before he fucking ate it. <laughs> she looked away immediately. Pain now setting in her face. Oh, man. Leave me. He took a step back. He knew that she would likely not find comfort for some time, and it was perhaps still too soon to speak with her. As you wish. Well, that was remarkably sen yeah. <laughs> sensitive and well-considered. Loren was still <clears throat> quiet after her mother was found. Saren had anticipated that she would be happy, and that she might, against all odds, smile. But she was incredibly somber, as if, almost as if the very sight of her mother depressed her. Saren approached her in hopes of comforting her. I've brought you food and uh, healing lotion. Lorena Lee barely raised her eyes to see the platter. I'm not hungry. Are you regretting finding your mother? Are you regretting opening your mouth to ask that question? Yes, immediately. <laughs> Lorena now gave Sarah her full attention. How dare you say that? This is just my opinion. But anyone who says this is just my opinion is about to say something shitty. You're not relieved at all that you have found her. Instead, you're acting like she is dead. Forgive my forwardness, but I don't understand, and have somehow forgotten my years in servitude, and how likely it is that you're just going to fucking gut me right now. Yeah, like... Uh, oh yeah, pr profanity, all uh, profanity warnings. We're gonna, we're gonna swear a bit. There'll be some cussing. My mother, my mother's not dead. Because I saved her. Friendly! Oh, gods, can we at least be friendly? Fuck. But who you found was not your mother. Is that how you feel? Ren's mouth dropped open. She was almost too offended to speak. We picked the friendly option? I read this book on therapy once. Oh, my God! <laughs> I'm basically... I'm... I'm sorry, that was very presumptive of me. I'm really only good at shooting and massages with very happy endings. I, you we saw my list of qualifications my before mother. we left. This is perfectly normal. Our lives have returned to as they were before. <clears throat> Saren took, a deep, took in a deep breath, considering that the queen and princess's relationship might actually be as tortured as it was now. There's no way that he could truly know. 
You're right. I really shouldn't have said anything. Erin shifted uncomfortably and turned away, too eager for him to leave. Saren had opened up one of the most difficult dialogue options. <laughs> God. All right. We have one more fight. Human lands. Yeah. Human yeah. lands. <clears throat> They don't appear to have gotten any stronger. Oh, these guys are a little tougher. Yeah, that yeah, that two fifty two in the middle. Oh yeah, yeah. No, they they got yeah. All right. Well, um, do we want to punch through and hurt that wizard a little bit? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, because that actually does a meaningful. Oh, climb. it also uh, scares him. Ah, it reduces his defense. Value. Nice. Which means Dora can kill him even better. Yes, she can. No, that's not worth it. No, we want to make sure he dies. But it means that Sar er, Saren gets his normal shot off instead of his... Uh... Yeah. Fireball! <clears throat> God. Wizard Wizards. OP. <sighs> Every time she sucks. Too bad, I like Oh her. no, she 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 hit him for fifteen. Alright. Yeah. We'll just carve through him. Yay! That was so hard, <clears throat> Ryan. It was. 